Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 21st of 2024 is titled CG4, the Globule and the Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the sky and we're looking at a portion of the sky showing what is known as a cometary globule. And that's that weird shape toward the center. And it almost looks like it's reaching out with some kind of claw toward the left hand side of the image where we see a distant galaxy. Now the globule in this case is ruptured. Now, the, so normally it would look like almost just a globule around an area, but that side of it has opened up, likely due to the intense energy from inside that would then push away at the weakest point, which much might have been that far side. And that would have been broken open and then allow us to see the site that we get to see today. Now, these are part of a star forming region. And while we may call it a cometary globule, it has absolutely nothing to do with the comet except for its rough appearance. That head which has been ruptured off to the left side, and then a tail stretching back toward the right hand side. So in that way, it does bear a resemblance to a comet, but a comet is an object within our own solar system and is relatively small. A one of these globules will be light years across so much much larger and is a region of star formation and that's what we're seeing here is a young cluster of stars forming and in fact some star formation still going on and some very young hot blue stars up above and then some of the gas red red gas glowing red because it is hydrogen and hydrogen when glowing will give off a distinct red glow when it has been excited by the energy of hot stars. Now the positioning of this is what makes it so unusual and such a photogenic part of the sky. And that is because it almost looks like this globule is reaching toward that galaxy. Now in reality, these two are nowhere near each other. The globule is a part of our own galaxy, our Milky Way, and relatively close in that case. The galaxy is much farther away, well off in the distance. And in fact, the galaxy itself would overwhelm the size of the globule if they were at the same distance. So if you were to take the globule and put it out at the distance of the galaxy, it would not not even be visible. And in fact, within that galaxy, there are likely many globules like this one as it appears to be a spiral galaxy, a flat disk galaxy, and would have star forming regions similar to the foreground one that we see in our galaxy in our own galaxy. So it is really just a chance superposition of these two objects that they happen to be in the same general direction in the sky, that it helps us in getting this image that we are looking at today. So that was our picture of the day for May 21st of 2024. It was titled CG4, the Globule and the Galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Green Sky Arc. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.